this welcome back message that keeps popping up? How is that happening? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so it's kind of hard to explain. Hexer just found a bug in my <laughs> in my chat thing. This is fine. Okay, now there's an image there. <laughs> Did you just embed Twitch in there? Oh no! Party like it's 1999 Marquee. <laughs> oh, and I can rip rule. That is so busted. Hello YouTube, this is a wonderful, wonderful run. I'm so excited to show this to you. This is Lord Tom, Maru, and Tampa's Super Mario Bros. 3 Warps run in 10 minutes and 24 seconds. It can be found on taskvideos.org. It will be, it's currently a submission, but the likelihood that this gets published is really high because this is a fantastic run. The last time this category was seen ever was 10 years ago. I'm super excited to show this to you. I have everything prepped on this console right here. This console is completely unmodified from a game perspective, but it does have an NES RGB, so you get a really clean signal out of it. So we're gonna use that console. I'm gonna power it on, and here goes. So we have Maru here in chat to describe what's going on. Now, this is the very first time I'm seeing this. I haven't seen this at all, uh, ever. <laughs> like, I never, never got a chance to watch this before. I, but in fact, this is Taskbot's first attempt at running this ever. So I'm going to be really happy if this just magically works right out of the gate. Oh, I love that. Let's go! Wrong game, though. Wrong game. So you can see the chat on the left-hand side of the screen. That's my Twitch chat. Uh, below that is paint by numbers. Anyone in my chat can type a color followed by an XY coordinate and it will paint a pixel. It'll allow them to nice set. And you guys are so smooth through here. <laughs> uh, that will allow people to draw full on images. You can see they've been pretty busy already tonight. We'll do a redraw of that in a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Twitch chat has been amazing tonight. Uh, at the time of this recording, we just did Games Done Quick Express at TwitchCon 2018. And it was pretty epic. I'm pretty tired. So there's a really good chance I'm going to say something dumb. But let's talk about the Super Mario Brothers 3 run, shall we? So right there, that is so perfect getting through that floor to get the Warp Whistle. This particular category is the run, the category where you can use Warp Whistles, but you can't glitch the game by going down the wrong Warp Pipe or do any other funniness like that. So this takes the normal, what you would consider the normal route through the uh, all the all up all the way up to this fortress in the first world, and then World Eight, all of World Eight. Uh, so Maru, you're going to have to t hop in and do the best you can to help me describe some of the crazy sections that are going on here. There's there's too much to describe. Frankly, it, it, it's it, it's just a lot. Um, this particular run is 40 frames faster. I know it doesn't sound like much, but for this game, 40 frames faster is a big deal. With a one frame compromise, you're gonna see at the end. Well, I'll let Maru describe that. Um, the, the, by the way, the side-by-side -side comparisons that, that Maru did with Lord Tom and Tampa for this, showing the difference between Morimoto's seminal 2003 run that was, I love that sound effect, 2003 run compared to 2018, it's absolutely astounding to see the progress that's been made. And some of the math and some of the, the, the craziness that went into this is just outstanding. Uh, PBN link? Okay. So that sound effect happens when you uh, switch, switch your tail at the same time you're hitting the bombs. By the way, I'm glad you guys figured out a way, Maru in particular, who's here in chat, I'm very glad you were able to pull off doing this without having it lag frames get in the way. <laughs> so, as Maru points out, they have to manipulate all the scores, among other things. Um, yeah. Yeah, he better... Yeah, this, this run, unlike other ones, did, I was really surprised that the 100% run despite all the levels they went through, somehow managed to not get 100 lives. So they've got 93, li 93 extra lives now, which is awesome. 
Now, you see, you see here, Mario's getting pushed off to the right. That allows, to, allows you to go through this pipe just a little bit earlier than you normally would be able to. Also, that little trick, I had never thought to try that, but forcing him to fire the second off-screen really makes sense. So, 100,000 points entering the pipe. That's no accident? Okay. That's awesome that that, that was that was a deliberate thing. Now, media, Mario just keep typing. So having Mario here in the chat as being one of the authors of this task is, is pretty incredible. So I'm going to pause for a second because this is YouTube and not everyone has, uh, has actually seen what's going on here. <laughs> okay, Mario, explain what just happened. Mario, Mario just did some kind of moonwalk weirdo thing. What on earth allowed him to run in what looked like midair? I've been trying to figure that out for a while. <laughs> Airwalk glitch? That I'm gonna have to look up. That is a heck of a glitch. Yep, you did it there too. Ah, okay, so the game still thinks Mar Mario is standing on the rocky wrench. That makes sense. That is still a really cool looking effect. I don't think I actually knew that. Now, what's really fascinating about this is, like, anytime you think you know about a game, you always get proven wrong. See, my story, another case where he gets pushed off to the right, by the way, my story is that when I was a kid, I only had enough money to buy Super Mario Bros. 3, but I didn't yet own a Nintendo, so I worked all summer scraping paint off of barns, pulling weeds, doing farm jobs, in order to get enough money to buy an actual Nintendo so I could play Super Mario Bros. 3. No hands, no bumps, flawless. Gotta love a tool-assisted tool speedrun that lets you do whatever you like. So, I, I finally got enough money to buy a Nintendo, but until that, all I could do was smell my Super, my Super Mario Bros. 3 cartridge. I couldn't play it. I would look through the instruction book every night back when they had amazing instruction books. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this game is special to me. It's, it's a very interesting, but I knew it as playing it as a kid. I still am impressed regularly by the tech in this game and the new things that are discovered in it. it it's just so amazing seeing what can be done. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So 9999999900 causes a light frame, but 100,000 doesn't. <laughs> interesting. You guys just eked out every last frame from this. Okay, the game has to convert scores to a base 10 number, which is a tedious task for the 6502. I never thought of that. Well, Caden, the answer is one frame and only one frame can be saved, and Mario can explain it. But the frame that's saved is not worth um, losing. So Mario, can you explain what we gain by that one frame entertainment trade-off? Can you, would this, can you point it out when we get to it? Um, you're asking for a walkathon of Super Mario Bros. 3 without running? I, I don't know about that. That would be really interesting. I wonder what it would take to do that. I love that slide. Oh, uh, SMW has the score like consideration as well? I didn't actually know that. So 8F has a new route. Okay. So go through that door. Where I get through that wall, okay. Manage to keep your speed up, and then clip. What? That was crazy. Clip through these two things. Grab the, uh, hit the P switch. Get to that door, and now you can get all the way here. So fast. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, sodium chloride logic. Welcome. Yeah, this task is so full of clips. So, Maru, why did that take one frame longer? Since we've got an auto scroller here. So much slower to the door, much faster under the spikes. I really like seeing the, the under the spikes thing. 
if I remember right, you just couldn't get all the transitions to line up to be less the uh, to not lose frames. Well, you're coming up on 99 lives. Somehow I think you'll get them handily. So many fallout flowers, so many flowers. Salt logic? I suppose so. Yeah, this Mario fellow seems pretty smart. Well, considering he did he was a main core member of the team that made the tool assistant speedrun of this. Yes. Uh, so I need to clarify a few things in case anybody's watching this and is not aware of all of the particulars. This is completely 100% unmodified hardware in every respect, other than the specific console I'm running on is pushing out RGB video. But that does not in any way, shape, or form impact this at all. Um, in other words, the gameplay itself. The other thing to point out, Taskbot is behaving himself in the sense that he's not doing anything weird with bad voltages or anything weird. We're playing with as if we were a real controller. And you can see all of the buttons that Taskbot's been pressing right here in this lower left corner of my screen. Uh, that right there still is just so awesome seeing Mario get... <laughs> so good. Um, Mitch Flower Power recently got a new RTA record by doing by pulling off what you just saw, going through the wall like that with a star. We're coming up on the end of this pretty quick, but I just want to again thank Mario, Lord Tom, and Tampa for this. Um, this completion shows that it's possible to do this even on completely unmodified hardware. Um, as always, you can watch these recorded live on twitch.tv slash AC, and you can always come to discord.taskbot.net to join the community. That concludes the run. That's it. The whole thing's over. <laughs> Mario, thank you very much for providing commentary. This was the warps run with no wrong warp in 10 minutes and, 40, uh, and 24 seconds, and you can find it uh, here at taskvideos.org slash 2835... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, wait, what is that? No, that's the wrong link. Ha ha! You can find it here, right there, at 6132S. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.